Amanda. We like planned like a weekend to hang out. And I looked at Mohegan Sun. It was like five hundred dollars a night for a room at Mohegan Sun. Really? Yeah, on the weekends. I was like, uh, I don't even gamble and there's nothing going on. So I was like, I was just like thinking of stuff to do. Cause my friend's from Connecticut. I'm up from Long Island. So we're going to hang out with like looking for something fun to do. Like it's too cold to go anywhere where there's like wineries, I think. Right. So I was like looking for something to do. And I looked up Mohegan Sun. It was like so expensive. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know you were doing that though. Thanks for talking. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take my braids out tomorrow. I probably could keep them in a little bit longer, but they start to get a little like like this at the end. I'm going to take them out tomorrow. The only person I'm, that I fought that I'm friends with is Sarge. Literally, I think that's a, unless I'm missing someone. And it's not that I'm not friends with them, but I'm just not like, oh my God, we fought. We're all of a sudden we're sisters. Misha, I think, is just, like, tough and experienced, but I think, like, she hasn't really developed skills over the last few years. She's not, like, super athletic. Gym fees, I don't really, like, I don't really pay gym fees. I just pay, like, coaches. If that makes sense. Wait, I can't see the comments. Okay. Thank you. It's funny. I felt like my head movement wasn't as, like, during the fight, I felt like it wasn't as good as normal. Right? But I don't know. It was good. Check out Rafi's in Glendale. Rafi's restaurant in Glendale. Yeah, I'll definitely. We have to make, like, a list of places because that people suggest when we go. Oh, Okay. Everyone's okay. Rafi's best food ever. Oh wow! Oh my god! Two that. people suggested that we definitely need to check that out. Power is something I definitely worked on the last couple months. I um between fights, I like lifted a lot, focused on strength training, and then just kind of during camp, focused on um just like using my strength more. So I was happy that people saw that. Damn, so much Raffies. So much Raffies. I'm so excited now. Me too. Trying new restaurants is like my favorite thing ever. I love it. And now that like there's a couple people that suggested this, so I'm super excited. How was it having Kyle in the corner? Having <laughs> Kyle was good. Kyle's actually been in my corner one time before, like a long time ago. But um I think a lot of people thought it was not not weird, but they were like interested in it. But um, it didn't seem that weird to me just because he's like watched me spar and coach me in sparring and training and stuff like that. So it didn't feel that weird. I've always had Mark Henry in my corner, but always had Mark Henry in my corner. But the rest of the people, um, it's not like I had the same three people in my corner for my whole career. So to switch it up isn't a big deal for me. Um, but yeah, it was good. I liked it. Seaweed and Glendale. I feel like I'll remember that name. That's easy to remember. I'll remember Rafi's now just because everyone said it. Me too. No, I didn't get, I wish, but I didn't get performance of the night. They definitely, uh, oh, I don't know who got performance. It was uh, the bald guy with the red beard that got the body shot. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I think he was like the fight before me. Or one or two before me. He got performance. This fight com uh, compared to the first fight with her. It's weird. I thought the first one was like better or like easier. But then after like my coaches and everyone said that they thought this was my first fight was a closer fight than this. So I don't know. I think I associated because this fight I got hit a little bit more so I automatically think like oh I didn't do as good but I think I did more damage and you know had more control time so overall I think I I did better even though I took a little bit more damage. Do you think about 
Um, I don't, I like fighting at 125. I feel really like big and strong there, but I'm not opposed to fighting at 135, but I prefer to stay at um, 125. I don't run at all. You will be re signed, no doubt. You are too good not to have on the roster. You're running through everyone you put in front of you. Oh, that's really nice. I like you Um, The hair, actually, it's like the girl that does it, it's the same girl from the USC every time. It's tight, but it's not like. It's like she does it, so it stays. But it's not like um, too tight where it's like giving me a headache. Blonde Fighter. Everyone in bon Blonde Fighter Feet Gang. Venmo at Blonde Fighter and I'll send you feet pics. You're not getting them for free. Yes, I did have a choke. I'm glad. I feel like no one really saw that at the end of round two that I had a choke. Um, I felt like, but they. Did, I feel like they didn't really talk about it. I feel like when we watched the replay, you couldn't really see it. But I, I had a choke. It was definitely in tight, but I didn't really get the choke till last like two seconds. Podcast is good. We're actually waiting for Zane, our producer. He should be coming here any minute, and then we're going to record this week's episode, which will be out tomorrow. Burning the Boats podcast. Do you guys listen to it? Yes. Comment on all caps on the UFC's page that they should re-sign me. At Yeah. Tag me and tag at Mick Maynard. No, I didn't get stitches. It's like... This is more like a scratch and they wanted to do, they almost did like a little, you can't even see. They almost did like a little stitch here, but I was like, no, it's fine. And it's fine. It's more like a like scratch, like a little tear. This is from um, Valentina fight. And I have like, you can't even see the other one. I have a scar like underneath from somewhere else. This one I actually got, I actually had stitches there in the camp for the Valentina fight. And I think that kind of like opened up a little bit, but it was, it's not like that bad where it needs stitches. Yes, if they offer me Valentina, I'll fight her again, of course. Yes, I'll be at Kyle's seminar. February 3rd? Yes. Fifth, February 5th, Long Island MMA. Kyle's doing a wrestling seminar. I'll be there. Kyle, do you like my battle scars? I do. You do? Yeah. I like the braids. Yeah, he like, he wishes I, he's like, you should just. I told him I'm going to take my braids out tomorrow. He's like, you should get them redone. He likes when I have the braids. He wants me to keep them all done. Would I ever leave Long Island? Absolutely. Florida. I just need to be where there's a beach. I love Long Island, but like if somewhere has a beach, I'm good. Of course, I wish I was on Joe Rogan podcast. That would be awesome. Are you gonna make this take after the podcast? Um, I was thinking about before. I kind of want it before. Yeah. Okay. Kyle, do you have any seminars outside of New York? Yeah, he does. Yes. Do you want in Connecticut, March 12th? March 12th, he's doing a seminar in Connecticut. February 5th, Long Island. But yeah, he does seminars everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but. <laughs> Go Bills Mafia. I'm not, Kyle's a Bills fan. I'm not like not a Bills fan, but that's more Kyle's thing. I'm more uh, Eagles. No, I don't speak Russian. Privyat. 
That's all I know. My roommate in college was from Russia, but that's all I learned. So many people are like typing in Russian. Favorite cheap food? I don't know. I don't have like a one go-to. I mean, we had pizza the second we got back and that was, pizza is probably my favorite, but it has to be like good pizza. If it's not like insanely good pizza, I'm like, eh, I could do without it. So many Russian people speaking. I wish I understood you guys. I probably wouldn't start uh, an OnlyFans for my feet. I mean, I could just like, someone could Venmo me and I'll send them pictures. Is Raleigh too far away for a wrestling seminar? Is it? No. I'm looking at a house in Raleigh. Yeah, Raleigh's not too far for a seminar. We, uh, we have some of our best friends live there. No, I haven't trained with Khabib. <laughs> See? Why are so many people speaking in Russian? It's frustrating, I wish I knew. I don't know, people love my feet, what can I say? Yes, I have been to London, I like it there. The thing I like about London is you can, they have like all the Broadway musical shows and they're super cheap. I saw like here in, in New York, they're like, uh, at least like $180 a ticket and you can like, I think I saw like two shows in one day and they were each like $30 and they were like the same quality as New York. I think I saw Jersey Boys and Legally Blonde there. Yes, respect for Armin. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I feel like that's like the thing, the OnlyFans for for uh, girl MMA fighters is like the cool thing right now. But I don't know, I'm just not that cool. Nothing against it. I don't think anything. I don't like think anything differently of girls that have it, but it's just, I'm not really like the OnlyFans type of girl. It's not really oh, my, what? I'm not the OnlyFans type of girl. More so like I just don't, I couldn't keep up with that. We'll see. If they don't resign you, maybe we'll have to. Yeah. If I don't if I don't get resigned, I'm gonna have maybe I'll have to start an OnlyFans. Huh? Well I didn't put these sweet potatoes in. It's still I mean you can put it in right now, it's twenty minutes. Okay. Can you give me the olive oil? I'm uh, doing this cutting up sweet potatoes and putting them in the air fryer is like was just uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper is so motherfucking good. It is. Um, I do. I don't day trade crypto, but I, I, I'm, I'm involved in in crypto. I want to get involved in an NFT. Ooh, tell Joe Grips. Tell Joe Grips. That uh, I have a good card if he's interested in it. Card? Yeah. Joe Gritz. Kyle said he has a good card if you're interested. Really good. Who's Joe? He's my friend. He has a card store. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, he has a really good card if you're interested, Joe Gritz. I was like, what are you talking about? Card, card. Yeah, yeah. You just made some NFTs. I watch like TikToks on how to make it, but that's way above my league. I just wanna like buy one that's like worth money. I'm trying to maybe uh, get involved in some real estate in the metaverse. <laughs> I'm serious, I've been watching TikToks on it. Anything good? 
If I buy something, I'm going to not tell you and then just, like, do that. I always do that. I always, like, if I'm not sure if I should invest in something, I just do it. And then I go, surprise, I bought Bitcoin. (laughs) Surprise, I bought Chainlink. I saw it on TikTok. Buy the NFT for Derek Lewis's cup. That's, where's this thing? Why'd you put it over here? It's a full women team? Ooh. I feel like a crypto women team isn't, I don't know if that's, um. What's gonna be 10? What's going to be 10x? I missed that comment. Were they talking about um, Chainlink or no? Or you don't know? Where are the tongs, Kyle? Did you use them? No, I probably won't fight for Invicta. These are the center if they take off. <laughs> Big crypto girl. Did you box or lockbox before? Um, yeah, I have like ten I don't know, like ten or twelve um amateur boxing fights. What's lockbox? I don't know, but I'm assuming they asked if I boxed. Touch my camera through the fence? What? Y'all crazy. Crazy if they don't resign you. Yeah. It's a crazy world. And I'm just here. Love you long time too. I'm the baby Masvidal. But some people here are saying there's no way UFC doesn't sign you. Hmm, I hope you guys are right. Did I see his comment? What like on the about? Resigning me, I saw that one, but I feel like it was kind of like eh. I feel like he just honestly didn't. Like no I feel like it, yeah, it was the same as like no comment. I feel like he didn't really know what, have any idea what was going on. Because when I do my contracts, I deal with like each division deals with someone else. So when I do my contracts, I deal with um, Mick Maynard, and he's the matchmaker for my division. So to be honest, Dana probably has like no idea. Um, Cody or Masvidal definitely, or not Cody, uh, Colby, Colby, um, Colby or Masvidal definitely Colby. I'm sorry they even, like, really made that match up. I can't believe they made that match I feel like that's, like, they're two different levels. I think they just did it because of, like, the, the build-up story, because they don't, they used to be teammates and they don't like each other. I feel like anything would be a big fight for Masvidal. I would even go for the... the that will be his third loss in a row. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is business, so you have to be like that sometimes. Someone just said they want to see you, Natalia Santos. Yeah. I, a lot of people, I, that's kind of what I saw the most on online is for, like, matchups to make after the fight was me and uh, Talia Santos. I mean, I think that, because I think she hasn't, she fought, like, a month ago or something. So timing-wise, that really makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I need a contract first. Yes, I won on Saturday. Sarah Ghan, I think, is going to win. I didn't have a a favorite female fighter growing up because there really wasn't any. Like, once I started training MMA is, like, right when, like, Ronda Rousey became a thing. So, at that point, I wasn't, like, 
Where's the salt? I wasn't really like looking up to her, not in a bad way. I was just already trying to compete at that level. Spider just. Sorry. Who's my favorite fighter? Mm, I don't know. I have like a new favorite fighter every week. I like, it was like, I don't know. I think Giga and Gija, whatever, Giga and uh, Qatar are like my favorite fighters. I have a new favorite fighter all the time. I don't know. I like everyone. Thanks, Corey. Obviously, Corey, I'll probably be giving you a call sometime this week to talk. Um, I did like boxing and kickboxing before MMA. Train in Minnesota, it's there. I like training here. I like San Hagen too, he's another one of my favorites. I have so many favorite fighters, <laughs> I don't know. Where's that Kerry Gold that we brought? <laughs> Kyle's about to sear these. Wait, let me show him. Um, he's about to sear these beautiful steaks off. They're already cooked. They're already cooked. He's just gonna sear them on the cast iron pan on the on the grill. Zane's here, everyone. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Zane! Kyle! <laughs> nice shirt. Oh, thank you. This one? This old thing? Damn. Oh, oh my steak. god. Okay. Okay. Great juice. We made two like giant ones, and oh we're like, they're too big. They're, like, one was enough. I'm like, well, make two. Zane will eat some. Oh my god. I'm you on know live. How much anxiety you gave us during the fight? Why? Wait, someone said. Dude. Wait, someone said your husband kind of looks like the wrestler from the Fox Catcher. Shannon Tatum. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you? Especially you, in Magic Mike. You mean Magic Mike? You <laughs> think Kyle looks like Magic Mike? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, um I think we're gonna go. Dude, he does. <laughs> That's who people must think I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time we go places people are like, Handsome I know you. <laughs> alright, alright, relax. This is great. What? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna agree? No, I agree. <laughs> You're just like, this is great. It doesn't <laughs> take much. <laughs> Look, Kyle's so happy now. In his gray joggers. His jammies. <laughs> his jammies. Oh. All right, um, I'm gonna go because we're gonna quick eat and then record our podcast. Um, po the new episode will come out tomorrow, so listen to it. All right, bye. Say bye, Zane. Bye. Where can you go?